Greetings, people. It is me, Nikki. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial, or more so like a playtime slash first impression slash review video on the new Pure My Little Pony movie collection. Now when it comes to packaging, I am dying. I think this collection is so much fun with all the neutrals and like the dark colors coming out recently. I think it's so awesome that Pure was like, you know, actually, no, we're gonna come out with bright ass colors and go there. So today I'm gonna be taking this palette for a spin, I'm gonna be trying all the products from this collection and coming up with this look. I spoiled it again. One day, one day I'm gonna tell myself to not film an intro with the finished look on because I'm spoiling. I'm like Game of Thrones. I wish I would never be like Game of Thrones. So yeah, today we are living up the color on this channel. Hence the wig, My Little Pony, I got to, I got a cookie. So if you wanna know what this collection looks like on my face, what it performs like, Keep on watching, like always. <laughs> All right, so before we start, I do wanna let you know that I put some excessive amounts of powder underneath my eye to catch any fallout because we will be using bright colors, so you really want that layer of security. So uh, I'm prepped and ready to play. First color I'm gonna be going in with is Generosity as a transition color in the crease. And since I'm going for a bolder, more extreme, colorful look, I am gonna place this very high up to get that drama. And since I'm going for a halo smoky eye, I'm also placing it right on the inner corners. With a clean Ofra 21 brush, I'm now going to blend and buff out the edges. And this is definitely one of my favorite shades out of the palette. It's just a beautiful neutral shade that you can use every day to like define, but it still has a little bit of zhuzh going on. It's not like a boring brown. To build up the halo effect, I'm gonna be placing magic on the inner and outer corners as well as in the crease. And I'm not gonna lie, magic did give me a little bit of trouble. It is beautiful once packed on, but as soon as you start blending it in, it loses its power and intensity. You can kind of see it happening already as soon as I start slightly blending it in, it can get a little patchy and uneven. So with this shade, it is essential that in the end, you go back in and pat a little bit more on, like really pack it on, so you get that intensity after all the blending. So I kind of pack on the color in the shape that I wanted and then I always go back in with my clean blending brush to like melt it all together. But as you can see, this shade is giving me a little bit of problem. I wish it was a little bit more creamy. Okay, clean blending brush and let's soften this. See, as soon as you start blending it, how it gets like little patchy holes. So as you can see after blending, we're missing intensity and like pigment in places here. Don't worry about that for now. We're gonna come back to that later. I'm gonna go in with the color Pinkie Pie and using this to warm up that crease and give it some more color. Now this color I love. You only need the tiniest, tiniest amount to warm it up and get that pigment and there's no fallout. I love that pink shade. I'm gonna work it throughout the edge to get rid of that grayness. Going in with some MAC Select Cover Up Concealer to cut the center of my lid for some halo goodness. And I'm gonna be setting that using Princess Sky Star, a beautiful mint that is one of my favorite shades of the palette. Okay, now is the time where you go back in with magic and re-intensify it. Really pack it on and don't touch it anymore because as soon as you go back in with the blending brush, you're losing that intensity. Let's spruce things up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion, and this is going right over top of the mint color to get some magic going. And make sure you really pack that glitter on by patting it onto the lid. 
Okay, I think it's time to get rid of this mess on the under eye. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of face powder and wipe away. On the lower lash line, I will be applying Rainbow Dash. I am ready for some blue. Applying some magic on the outer corners and blending it down low to get some smokiness going. And then to sort of ground the blue a little bit more, I'm gonna go back in with the color Generosity and a MAC 239 brush. And right underneath, I'm kind of tracing it and blurring it out. And somehow that's gonna make it look a little bit blurred and grounded. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go back in with Princess Sky Star and blinding that inner corner, baby. To finish this look, all I need is some lashes and I'm gonna be applying my favorite Anytude Fairy Lashes. All right, so for cheeks, what I'm first gonna do is start with a little bit of bronzing and I'm gonna stay away from, <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from the Hula Light because it's been on my face for months upon months upon months. I'm actually gonna go into this Morphe palette right here. This is called the 9C palette and this is a great staple for contouring, bronzing, highlighting, although all the highlight shades are too dark for me. So I'm picking up a little bit of the bronzing powder and start giving my face a little bit of warmth. And I absolutely would have used any cheek products from this collection, but there are none except for like the highlighter sticks, which I have a little bit of an opinion about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward with my own products. Also picking up the tiniest amount of this shade right here on this Morphe M143 brush to do a little bit of additional contouring. For blush, I'm gonna go in with Ofra's Mai Tai. For highlighter, my favorite part, I'm gonna work with some of my all-time favorites. These are Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders, and I haven't picked these up in a little bit. I don't know why, because every time I wear these, I live for my cheekbones. First, I wanna go in with this one right here called Double Take. This is an interesting looking one because it's got a goldish duochrome to like a warm pinkish beautiful base. Let me demonstrate. So look right here. See how it looks really warm and beautiful, but it has a shift to it. I love this one. So going in with that first. So here we go as a base. And on the cheeks, it transforms into this like duochromish pink opal. It's stunning. Now you can definitely stop the glow here, call it a day and be done with it. But of course, I'm gonna go with that extra mile with the glow. I'm gonna go in with Coco Bling. Coco Bling is my favorite out of the entire collection. It is so intense and beautifully shiny. It does things to your body you can't quite explain. It makes it tingle. <laughs> and for this, I'm actually gonna be using the brush that comes with the collection. This is the conce concealer brush. So right in the center to kind of make the highlight pop, I'm going in with Cocoa Bling. Holy crap. Also applying Cocoa Bling to the tip of my nose. Oh shit. As well as the Cupid's bum. All right, on to lips. And I definitely, definitely wanna be playing with these glitter lip topper glosses. These are so much fun. They smell like the best candy on planet Earth. They are so, so pretty. And I love that they have like a duochrome glitter to it. These are a party on your mouth. So I wanna be doing like a nude lip and then gloss it up with all the fun colors. So first I'm gonna go in with Colored Rain Classy Lip Paint. Mila! 
Say hi to everybody. Say hi, guys. Oh, she is the tiniest, cutest little Pomeranian. I love her so much. Kiss. Mm. And right on the center, I'm gonna go in with a new color rain lipstick. This is in the color Socialite. This is more nude, so I want that pouty look. So for gloss, I'm really looking forward to this one right here because it's got that like magenta pink duochrome in it. This one is the color Fluttershy. Mm. No way. Oh my God, look at that. Mm. Oh my God. Let's add a little bit of the pink too. <gasps> what, it turned blue. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm thinking some setting spray to finish and we're done. And that, guys, concludes this My Little Ponies Pure Collection inspired makeup look. I mean, I had to go there with the hair to really get it to that My Little Pony level. Let me know what you think. It's probably too much for a lot of people, but I am living. So looking at this collection and looking at the palette first, I think the palette is a lot of fun. Is it the most creamy pigmented eyeshadow palette I've ever used in my life? No. You know, I think most of the shimmery shades, when you dampen your brush, it's really gonna go there and take it to the next level. Do I personally think that it is worth it getting this palette? Yes, I think you can create a lot of fun, fun looks with this. You just gotta be careful with magic. All the others dampen your brush and oh my God, you are golden. So I think this is a very, very fun palette. If you love a little bit of color, if you love this like pressed glittery pigment shadows, if you're looking for those, look no more, you found them here. My favorite part of this collection are the glittery lip topper glosses. These are so much fun to play with. They have a nice glittery duochrome. They are sparkly and super, super glossy and comfortable on the lips. They are sticky, but it's nowhere near a MAC lip gloss. They definitely have a stickiness to them, but it's comfortable and nice to wear and it feels really hydrating. And I think if you're in for like a fun color, you definitely find it here. If you're getting anything from this collection, go for the glosses. They are by far the best. As for the all-in-one glow sticks, these are a no for me. They take a lot of friction and build up to show up and get pigmentation. And once it's there, it just looks off on the skin. You'll find with products like these that when you really have to build it up and rub it on your face, it's gonna disrupt your foundation, your concealer, your powder, and it's gonna leave you with holes in your face. And that is something that I hate. And I just feel like as soon as the light hits it, it's beautiful, but as soon as your cheek shifts away from the light, you see a really weird looking shadow and it's it's just not cute. So if there's one product in this launch that I go, you might not want to spend your money on that, it's the all-in-one glow sticks, which is weird because I love a glow. That's weird for me to say that. As for the brushes, I think brushes wise, the quality of them is okay. It's not something I feel myself gravitating towards in the future a lot because these are a little bit more on the synthetic side. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. They are super, super soft and synthetic brushes can get really, really soft. It's just that none of these brushes really speak to what I want them for. I really like this one as a center point for the highlight to really make it blinding. But honestly, that's about the only one I see myself using in the future. I think the packaging is extremely cute, but I more so think this is a fun gift for someone who's starting out with makeup and needs a couple of brushes or like as a gift to a friend to surprise them with really, really cute packaging and just a fun idea. So yeah, I think that wraps up this entire pure collection, My Little Pony's movie collection. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite pieces were of this collection. Let me know in the com- I already said that, what am I doing? I do wanna let you know, however, that I do have a affiliate slash discount code on Pure, and that is Nikki, and this will save you some money at discount. So if you end up going for like the glosses, or the palettes, or anything else from the Pure website, you can enter discount code Nikki, and you will get some money off. So I'm totally open about it. 
Do I love everything from this collection? No, so that should tell you enough. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get a notification boop, every time I upload. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Next week, I have my Kim Kardashian video going up, so definitely stay tuned for that. And who knows what else I'll upload in between. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I wanted to be really sassy in the end. I couldn't. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.